Hey, I'm Fawn Myra, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. As usual, we'll be using Mobavi Video Editor. And if you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing. Alrighty, enough wasting time, let's go. Let's begin by dropping our video clip down into the timeline. Next, we need to add two additional video tracks. So let's do that now by clicking this track icon and selecting add video track. And then we'll repeat this once more. Okay, now let's drag our playhead along the video clip until we find a perfect moment to use for our snapshot. That looks pretty good. Now, let's capture this moment by inserting a freeze frame. We can do this by using the keyboard shortcut Control E. Now that we've got our freeze frame, I'll delete this leftover footage since we won't need it for this example. Okay, with that cleaned up, let's clone our freeze frame and place that clone directly above the original right here in the top overlay track. Next, we're going to want a border for our freeze frame. So let's go up to the import icon and select backgrounds. From here, we'll scroll all the way down and when we find the white background, let's grab it and place it right in between our top and bottom track like this. Okay, so now we have our snapshot layer on top, our border layer in the middle, and our background layer below that. So with all these in place, let's highlight all three of them and then shorten them up to about two seconds. So while they're highlighted, let's click on the clip properties icon and then make our adjustments here under duration. Next, let's resize our snapshot and border at the same time. The way to do this is by highlighting them both, and then in the Tools tab, we can select Overlay, and then resize them in the preview window like this. This is a good size here, I'll stick with this. So once we're happy with the size of our snapshot, let's use the crosshairs to make sure it's perfectly centered. Now we need to work on the border. So this time, let's highlight just our snapshot layer. Then again, using the overlay tool, we'll go to the preview window and shrink this down just a little bit more and center it up, perfectly revealing our border. If we don't like the way the border looks, we can always highlight it again in the timeline and make small adjustments using the overlay tool until it's perfect. Now let's bring our snapshot to life by giving it some movement using animation. So let's highlight our snapshot and in the tools tab, select animation. And under advanced, we'll click this button right here. Now let's go down to our clip in the timeline and reposition these keyframes so that the movement happens throughout the entire snapshot. So we'll grab these little dots here and drag them to the very beginning and end of the clip like this. Now let's right click on this keyframe and select edit keyframe. From here, we'll come up to the preview window and using the rotation handle, position this frame to our liking. I don't like too much rotation myself, so I'll just rotate it back four degrees. Now let's drop back down to our clip in the timeline, right click on our second keyframe and choose edit keyframe. Now we can jump back up to the preview window and adjust the final positioning of our snapshot movement. I'll just turn it back a degree or so and enlarge it slightly so it looks like the snapshot is moving towards us. Once finished, we'll want to repeat this exact same process for our border layer. So we'll add animation. Pull the keyframes to the beginning and end and then edit the keyframes exactly the same way we did with the snapshot. Now I'll play this through for a moment so we can see how the animation is looking so far. Okay, our snapshot and border layers are looking pretty good and the hard part's over. So let's get to the fun stuff. So open the filters icon, let's select blur and grab the intense option and drop that right down here on our background. Next, let's click on the vignette tab and choose one that looks nice. I'll go with number seven. There's also a lot of really great color filters to choose from. But for this example, I'm gonna go to the color adjustment tab and manually lower the saturation and highlights as I really like the way this looks. Next, let's add a flash. We can do this by clicking the transitions icon and under featured, grab the one labeled flash. Now when applying this transition, I like to place it on only the background clip like this. Once added, let's right click on the transition and reduce the duration to a little less than half a second. Next, we need to add a shutter sound to go along with our flash. By clicking the import icon, selecting sounds and scrolling down a bit, we'll find shutter. Let's grab this sound effect and place it right underneath our flash right here. Almost every part of this effect is adjustable, so have fun and do what makes the most sense for your project. And if you're planning on using this effect for a YouTube video, then you're really gonna wanna watch this video right here. Check it out. 